What's up all you cool chicks and chickens? This is Shane and another episode of I Can Barbecue. Okay, no, I can't, I can't do that. Uh, that was a little play on uh, Tiger King. But uh, anyway, so my name is Shane. This is I Can Barbecue. Today we're going to be whipping up some, some Cajun uh, barbecue chicken on the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco. Should be a fun cook. Uh, so stay tuned. All right, so to start, I'm gonna brine this overnight. We're gonna start with a little bit of this tiger sauce. Hey, Tiger King, tiger sauce. Got a good thing going here. If you haven't had this stuff, it's pretty legit, really spicy. So if you're not a fan of spice, don't go for it. But in this marin, I mean in this brine, it should do pretty well. And then straight from New Orleans, got the Creole seasoning. It's gonna add a pretty good little kick to this. I added some warm water to it, so it should help this spread around a little better. I'll whisk that up a bit. All right, now let's get the chicken in there. For today, we're gonna be using these uh, beautiful legs, fresh legs, about the only thing you can find at the grocery store if you're lucky. <laughs> um, but uh, the main reason I'm doing these, uh, the legs, is because I actually got this Bayou Classic uh, 12 leg chicken hanger. Don't know if it'll do anything at all, but I thought it'd be a fun way to cook. So you, get to, you guys will get to see that in action as well. Now I cheated and pre-fit this so I know it's all gonna fit. I actually wasn't cheating. I messed up, put the chicken in here before the liquid and I couldn't mix it. Well, watch me be a liar. No, it's gonna fit. It's gonna fit. There you go. And you wanna have enough liquid that it covers the top of the chicken. Uh, this one was a complete guess. I just poured a few uh, glasses of water in here to fill it up just enough to get the mix, but it actually uh, worked out pretty well. All right, and from here, I'm gonna go ahead and get this lid on, get that in the fridge, and I'll explain uh, what we got going on. All right, chicken's in the fridge, but yeah. I got really bored, I was on Amazon, saw this little thing, um, and decided to pick it up. It'll definitely save some space. I don't know if it'll change the flavor profile at all, uh, but I figured it's a neat way to do them. Kind of just let them hang, as you can see in this picture. Fits 12, 12 chicken legs, um, cooking 10 tomorrow. And also, last but not least, this is the Deggles Cajun Grill and Blend. It's the barbecue seasoning. This is what we're gonna be using on the chicken tomorrow. It's got a, a, barbe a sweet barbecue flavor mixed with a little bit of kick um, of that Cajun flavor. It's, it's really good stuff, and it actually looks good while it's cooking. You guys will get to see that tomorrow. It gives it a really Really good color. So yeah, really excited. Stay tuned guys. Today I'm going to be using a couple chunks of cherry. Wasn't really sure what wood to go with, but I think the cherry, the, the, that little hint of sweet that it'll give it, um, will mix well with that Cajun flavor. We'll see. All right, you want to do this as fast as possible. Got the two cherry chunks right here. I'm going to get those on. Do not forget this step. I can't tell you how many times I put everything on and forgot the wood. Let's go ahead and get that in there. Throw it right in the middle for this cook. Drop the heat deflector in. And I'm going to place this on the second row. You got two options, this top one, the bottom one. I don't know how tall this thing is, so I'm gonna give it some room here. Here's my probe mount right here at the front. I have it lined up with the actual uh, temp gauge on the grill. I did this so I can kind of track the temp of both, see how accurate. And the star of the show, this beautiful chicken. All right, gonna be using the Thermo Pro today. I uh, just need the ambient temperature, I'm not using the actual meat probe. This chicken's too small for that. Close the pit and let this bad boy work. Smoke's still a little dirty, it's coming back up to temp. It'll mellow out in a second. The only way you should get white smoke on this cook is if you got the uh, chicken fat and it drops through the heat deflector somehow and hits the coals. Other than that, you should be running a clean smoke. So I got it holding steady at uh, 270 right now. I think I said 250 earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and ride it out. I'm gonna show you guys where the vents are set. Two, here's finger for reference scale. That's the smoke you wanna see, which is no smoke. There's certain angles you can kind of see it. It's that blue smoke, that's what you really want. This grill is perfect at it. This one's set at two as well. It's been holding at 270 for probably about 20 minutes now. I'm gonna ride it out at that for about an hour and then crank it up for however long it takes <laughs> to get to 165 internal. All right, the chicken is cooking. I'm gonna make up some barbecue sauce. 
Uh, as you guys all know, it's really hard to get things at the store, so I don't have anything really Cajun based, uh, but I'm gonna use some of this Four Rivers, the local barbecue place around here, really good. Spike it with the uh, seasoning that I use for the chicken, the daggles. There you go. Add a little orange juice. Honestly, if you ever want to make some dope barbecue sauce, buy a whole, uh, store bought one and then add orange juice. It comes out good every time. No idea what this is going to taste like. But if it comes out good, you guys saw it here first. Okay, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, if you guys have the chance to try it, do so. All right, still holding strong at 270, uh, well, 273. Um, 274, it's making me a liar, but yeah, still holding strong at that 270. Same settings as I showed you before, I haven't touched it. Um, I'm gonna drop that barbecue sauce on. It's been about 45 minutes. I'm gonna drop the barbecue sauce on now so it has a chance to warm up. But here's the first sneak peek at the chicken. I haven't saw it yet, so this is the first time for both of us. Uh, oh my God, it looks delicious. Look though, we had a, a casualty. You can see that. Yum, yum, yum. All right, get in the barbecue sauce. All right, don't want this thing to be open too long. Gonna get it closed. All right, guys, it's been an hour at 270. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Just a light dip like this. Put it back. Light dip. I said I was gonna crank it up. I don't think I am. I might risk getting that rubbery skin, but It'll still be delicious. We'll see. I've let it render quite a bit. Oh, here's the loner. I guess that bone is a little too small for this. I tried to pick the biggest ones out of the package. No. Oh well. We tried. So I got, I'm doing some ribs tomorrow. I'm gonna use this same sauce. It came out really good. Like, I'm not even kidding. If you guys have a chance to try this and you have your access to the ingredients, I would definitely recommend it. Hi. I'm gonna keep her there. See how it goes. Still same settings as I showed you guys earlier. Uh, 245 right now because I opened her up, but she'll be back up to 270. All right, guys. This chicken's taking its sweet time. Gonna see where she's at. Mm, 179. I'll take it. All right. We're gonna get this off here. Get it plated up. Let it cool for 30 minutes, and then uh, give it a taste test. Stay tuned. So that's the cook. Uh, I'm gonna give this chicken a taste test, let you know what I think. This bite. It's so good. <laughs> it was really, really good. I'm gonna try this little, little bit of the barbecue sauce on it. Let you see. Come on, focus. This is that barbecue sauce I actually made. So good. That orange juice is killer. I'll link all the ingredients below. If you have them in your area, highly recommend. Um, yeah, overall, really easy cook. That Oklahoma Joe's Bronco held temp the whole time. Burned clean the whole time, which I really enjoy. It's a fun cooker to cook on. This little rack. Don't know if it added any flavor, but it definitely uh, definitely saves space. So if you're throwing some ribs on there, along with the chicken, you can definitely get that done, it's easy. Um, and save space, uh, however we did notice, you need the larger knuckles. It doesn't fit all the knuckles of the chicken. This one didn't fit, it just kept falling down. Um, but as far as flavor profile, came out excellent. The sauce, off the chain, highly recommend. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys are enjoying it. 
If you have any recommend, re if you have any recommendations at all, just go ahead and drop it in the comments, and I'll try and get a video on it. Whether it's a cooker you want to see in action, uh, a meal you want to see me cook, spices, anything you want to see me do, let me know. I'll try and make it happen for you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next video. Peace.